Thank you for judging. We absolutely could not put on this event without you. This video will go over some basic rules and guidelines for judging, as well as review some specific events. Let's get started. You will all receive a ballot packet. The top page is the official ballot. The following pages are common sheets for the individual competitors. It is crucial that the top sheet is brought back to the check-in table as soon as possible. We cannot keep the tournament running on time without quick return of the ballots. After you turn in the top sheet, you may spend as much time as you wish providing feedback on the common sheets. The top sheet will have your name, room number, and event. Please ensure that you are in the correct room. If you are going to the semifinals or finals round, please wait until there are three judges present before starting. All competitors are known by their numbers. You do not need nor should ask competitor names. The first column on your ballot will list competitor numbers. This is generally the order the competitors should perform in, however, you should accommodate for double entry. Some contestants may be competing in two events. This means they may perform in your round first, then ask to be excused to go compete in their second event. Or, they may compete in their second event first, and then come to your room to perform. You should allow double-entered contestants to come and go as needed to compete in both of their events. If a contestant is double-entered and is not present for their turn on the ballot sheet, you should skip that competitor and move to the next performer. Allow the double-entered contestant to perform when they arrive. The third column on your ballot sheet is where you should record the name of the piece, speech, topic, or extemp question. This will help you remember who was who when determining your rankings. In the next column, you will write the time of the performance. Competitors will time themselves for you. They should show you the timer when they begin, reading zero, and then the time when they complete their speeches. Competitors may use either a kitchen timer or an electronic device, such as a phone, as a timer, as long as the device is in airplane mode. If a contestant's timer malfunctions, the battery dies, or anything happens that does not allow you to accurately record the time, please note that on the ballot. If a contestant goes over time, please note that on the ballot. If a contestant has a timing problem or goes over time, please rank that contestant as you would normally. We will deal with all timing issues in the tabulation room. There are two columns labeled Rate and Rank. At the conclusion of the round, you will rank all contestants from first place to last. A 1 is the best speech in the round, and an 8 is the speech needing the most improvement. There can be no ties in the rank section. Rate is for speaker points. These are awarded as individual scores. Think of it as rating each performance as if they were the only speech you saw that day. 30 is outstanding and 20 is needing critical improvement. You may have ties in the rate section. If you have two terrific speakers, they may both receive 30 speaker points in the rates column. As speech and debate season is also cold and flu season, we discourage students from shaking a judge's hand after the round. A simple thank you should convey a competitor's appreciation for your time. Finally, please remember to sign the bottom of this ballot. Again, do not worry about timing signals, as contestants will time themselves. Remember to return the white top sheet as soon as possible to the ballot table. You may then spend additional time writing on the comment sheets. There will be a comment sheet for each competitor you see today. Duo and Terp competitors share a comment sheet. Please use these comment sheets to provide feedback to the competitors. Students all want to improve and your comments help them do just that. Coaches never see their students compete, so the only way they can help their contestants to improve is by reading and utilizing your comments. Thank you for providing concise and constructive feedback to the performers you see today. On your comment sheets, you will find an overview of the events and some things to look for when judging. And now we will take you through some of the events. Extemporaneous speaking. In extemp, contestants are given a current events question. They then have 30 minutes to prepare a speech to answer that question. Competitors can utilize a variety of sources, including newspapers, magazines, and books to support their answer. 
you should evaluate contestants on how well they answer the question, the depth and completeness of their analysis, and the utilization of sources to support their answer and analysis. You may also judge contestants on the traditional mechanics of speech, like poise, eye contact, quality of voice, and hand gestures. You should not mark a contestant down because you disagree with their answer or their political view, but rather evaluate fairly how well they answered the question and articulated their analysis to you. This speech is about seven minutes long. Before speaking, the speaker must give you the paper copy of the topic they will speak on. We recommend that you also write the topic on the comment sheet for each individual competitor. Contestants may use a note card while speaking, but must submit that card to you at the conclusion of their speech with their code number clearly written on the card. You should turn the topic slip as well as any cards used in with your ballot. Impromptu speaking. Impromptu is an event where competitors receive and prepare their speech right in front of you. In impromptu, you should receive an envelope with your ballot. Inside this envelope are index cards and the prompt for your round. The prompt will be a quotation or comic. All contestants will get the same prompt. When all speakers have assembled, send all but the first contestant out of the room. Give the first speaker a copy of the impromptu topic and note card. The contestant should then immediately set their timer for three minutes, counting down, of preparation time. Judges and audience members should be quiet and respectful during prep time. When the timer sounds off at the end of the three minutes, the contestant will reset the timer to zero, counting up, and begin speaking. You should look for an interesting introduction, analysis of the topic, a clear thesis, and the use of general knowledge to support their thesis. You should also look for the traditional mechanics of speech. When the speaker has concluded their speech, the next contestant will be admitted and will follow the same procedure. You should not allow any contestant who has spoken or any observers to leave the room before the end of the round unless the contestant is double entered in another event. And please remember, you are judging the contestant's performance, not the topic. Interpretation. There are four interpretation events, humorous, dramatic, duo, and program. In the humorous and dramatic interpretation events, a speaker takes a piece of literature and explores a theme by presenting sections taken from drama, prose, or poetry, including song lyrics. The material may be memorized, read, or extemporized. Competitors should not be marked down for utilizing a manuscript. Contestants are allowed gestures, movement, and singing. You should judge on how compelling or enjoyable the performance is and how well it is performed. Obviously, humorous interp should have comedic elements, where dramatic should focus on more serious themes. Duo interp is a similar concept, except you have two contestants giving a performance together. Duos can be humorous or serious. You should again judge on how compelling or enjoyable the performance is, and how well the scene is conveyed and performed. There are two special rules in duo. One. Performers' focus may be direct during the introduction, the performers may look at each other, but must be indirect, offstage, during the performance itself. Two, they may not touch each other except during the introduction. If dual partners do touch, you should note that on your ballot. In program oral interp, contestants intersplice multiple types of literature into a single, cohesive performance. Using selections from prose, poetry, including song lyrics, and drama, contestants develop an interesting argument or theme that is supported in different ways by each piece of literature they select. A manuscript is required and may be used as a prop within the performance as long as the performer maintains control of the manuscript at all times. Performances can also include an introduction written by the contestant to contextualize the performance, as well as state the title and the author of each selection. Each program must contain at least two of the three genres, prose, poetry, or drama, and contestants are encouraged to include all three. Original Oratory OO is a persuasive speech authored by the contestant. It is approximately 10 minutes long and should persuade you to do something or to think about something in a particular way. 
You can judge the speech on the traditional mechanics of speech. Poise, eye contact, quality of voice, and hand gestures. The speech was written by the contestant, which means you can also judge the quality of writing, development of analysis, and the organization of the speech. You should not mark a speech down because you disagree with it, but fairly judge a speaker on their persuasiveness. Original oratory speeches must be memorized. Informative. This speech is about 10 minutes long and written by the contestant. This speech should enlighten you, inform you, or demonstrate a subject for you. Informative also adds the fun element of visual aids. Visual aids are not mandatory and should be utilized to enhance the speech. You should judge speakers on the traditional mechanics of speech, as well as the quality of writing and the organization of the speech. Speakers should clearly convey their information in an approachable way. You should learn a lot during a round of informative. Memorize public address. MPA is an event based on analysis, speech selection, and speaking ability. The address portion is a speech that was originally presented by someone else. The content of the speeches must have a statewide, national, or international significance. The competitors will interpret the address and combine it with their own original analysis. The address is the quoted material, while the analysis should discuss the background and significance of the speech. The analysis may be included any time throughout the presentation. You should judge how competent the speaker is in analyzing the original speech and the effectiveness of their presentation. Additionally, since the analysis is written by the competitor, you may judge the quality of writing, development, and effectiveness of the analysis. However, do not judge the quality of writing in the address portion. In MPA, memorization is mandatory. Legislative debate. The most important difference between legislative debate and other events is that there is no predictable order in which the competitors will speak. Each competitor may speak several times or not at all. They will ask questions, make motions, and take turns presiding or controlling the flow of the round. For this reason, it is absolutely critical that you make notes on their individual ballots every time you see something you like or something you dislike. At the beginning of the round, take note of their appearance. You can label them in whatever way makes the most sense to you. Use their hair color or style, accessories, and clothes. For example, AZ123, long blonde hair, black sweater. At the beginning of the round, you will receive an item of legislation from each competitor. You decide the order they debate the legislation in, but they will decide how many bills and resolutions get debated. You might see them debate one or all of them. Choose wisely. Since competitors write their pieces of legislation themselves, you may also consider their writing and legislation ideas when ranking competitors. In legislative debate, arguing about the rules is expected and occasionally necessary. You should make sure that competitors provide direct quotations from the rule books and have physical copies of the evidence. You should not be shy about asking to see the evidence if the presiding officer is unable to resolve the argument. Finally, be aware that some competitors may speak less through no fault of their own. Please do not punish competitors who speak less or whose legislation does not come up for debate. Instead, rank competitors based on the totality of their performance. Reward behavior that you would want to see from real politicians representing you and your district. Those are our events today. Please feel free to ask any additional questions at the judges' table. And please remember to return your white top sheet as soon as possible. Once again, thank you so much for judging. We couldn't do what we do without you. Have a good time today in rounds.